So the fall feasts are upon us. You know, we had the Feast of Trumpets. We just did Yom Kippur Day of Atonement. Hope you join us on the 16th at like 6 p.m. Israel time for Tabernacles, Sukkot. And we always do this. We have, we're helping the poor here with the charity, but a lot is going on in Southern Lebanon. You know, I've, I've been moved from Gaza to Southern Lebanon. I don't know how long I'll be serving in Southern Lebanon, but ground raids are targeted. They're, they're uh, minimal but they are making a lot of impact. Got like 20,000 soldiers or so IDF going through the Southern Lebanon villages. I mean, it is amazing how much, what a stockpile they've, they, cause they, they stockpiled all these weapons cause they plan to do another October 7th style massacre, even bigger than what the Hamas did to us. And so these ground raids are finding a lot of these stockpiles like cornet missiles, like, um, Klimagor mines, like uh, hand grenades, RPGs, so much, so much. Of course, the, those predator-style drones. And we're advancing systematically through the southern Lebanon villages. And um, it's quite a change of scenery for me, really, really, really. According to the Army Radio, we've expanded our operations and fierce, fierce battles are happening. I mean, you could see um, Hezbollah are really just attacking. A lot of them have fled but those who are remaining are still attacking. And you see a seven meters deep tunnel. Now I myself was inside a few of these, um, these uh, logistical bunkers, underground caverns and things. I saw this video, terrorists came out of a, a Hezbollah tunnel. Some of these tunnels cross into Israel, you know? And uh, he, was, he was captured, that's very it's rare. Like well, I know, I know, I know. He came out and he's being interrogated and he was apprehended um, as, and being interrogated as he's part of that force that seeks the destruction of Israel to do indiscriminate terror. And it's supposed to be, it's like a 50 meters of living space that's down there. They've got food, they've got comms. Um, and so two soldiers were seriously wounded just now in the, in the, in the fighting. Keep our soldiers in prayer. Get, pray that God gives us wisdom. We can see the traps, the, the, all the booby traps. And... Um, and so IDF cleared out, I mean, uh, closed down five northern towns. And uh, so you got Unit 504 is, is uh, doing anyone that they can uh, interrogate to try to get human intelligence, they'll try to get it. And, uh, you know, how long will this all last? Good question. I hope to have huge, huge victory. At the same time, everyone's holding their breath wondering, when are we going to respond to Iran? You can't just go and shoot us with 180 plus intercontinental ballistic missiles and get away with it. I mean, they're the head of the octopus. They're the ones that have been funding and training all these terrorists like the Badr force, like the Hamas, like the Hezbollah, like the Islamic Jihad, like the, the Houthis and many more. Channel 12 says we know where we want to strike. And they're saying we know where and around we want to strike. And, it, and it's a, this is an issue of our own survival as a nation, as a people. If we don't stop them from enriching uh, uranium, plutonium, they're going to have nuclear weapons and they're going to use them on us. And then America next. You know, that's what they, that's what they say. And over in Isfahan last night, there was so many um, sirens, air raid sirens. You know, did we attack? Did we not? Everyone wants to know. Um, the goals of, of hitting Iran would be to really uh, remove some of these stockpiles, some of these uh, nuclear sites, maybe oil sites, and, and, and have them stop um, funding Hezbollah, have them stop training and, and, uh, and, just, and to stop the, the ability to uh, have these proxies attack us. Now, how deep are we going to go into Lebanon? That's another question. These are great questions. I don't know, but we're really hoping at this time the Lebanese will arise and take and take take back what's rightfully theirs from these thugs, these mafia, these henchmen of of Iran, Hezbollah. Kick them out and allow for a resolution 1701, 1701 to happen because that says they're supposed to withdraw. The whole world says they're supposed to withdraw to the Litani River. And they're not doing it. So that's why we have to take out Waqif Safa, who was seriously wounded in, in a strike that we did. Uh, he was one of the main guys that was, that was um, trying to do the uh, conquest, the Galilee, uh, Hezbollah terror mission to do another, another October 7th massacre on us. And so they have a jihad branch in Nur Shams um, in the West Bank. They have a lot of proxy activity. And so we're just glad that the United States is really backing us, putting that, that um, you know, they could take missiles out in space. You know, that's, that's another level with the, with the uh, THAAD, T-H-A-A-D, 
um, air defense system that they're for long range ballistic missiles. So we're really, really hoping that uh, we'll be able to stop Iran from hitting us even out of space. So you can see things are really, really, really intense. But Aliyah is increasing and France is leading in the Aliyah, the immigration of Jewish people, 352% sharp increase. It, it, and, uh, and so when I'm there in Lebanon, I'm just, I'm thinking of Psalms 29 verse five, the voice of the Lord breaks the cedars into pieces, you know, breaks the cedars of Lebanon and makes Lebanon leap like a calf and Syria like a young wild ox. I do believe that that is the defeat of these, uh, these thugs and an establishment of a new regime, a new season. So we've had this day of atonement. We were praying and interceding for Israel, but we're also praying and interceding for these countries around us, that they will have this opportunity for a new day to arise. Keep on praying, keep on standing strong. I'll keep you posted.